fancy. All right. Uh, yeah, so we're going to start off with the 2022 recap. Thank you, everybody who's just tuned in via recording. Um, and yeah, just talk about how far we've come in this last year, because it's been a big year, people. It's been a big year for SKL um, and for Planetside as well. So let's get into it. Uh, so starting off the beginning of the year uh, in winter, in January, uh, we got the release of Osher, New Continent, Big Pog. And had a lot of stuff to look forward to on the horizon. We got the, the roadmap for the rest of the year. And obviously, fact of the matter is that some of those things didn't pan out. We didn't get outfit alliances. We didn't get the new garrison squads. Hopefully, we see those in early 2023. Um, and even some of the stuff that did get released maybe still needs some tweaking. Uh, Osher is still, for a lot of folks, nuts or optimal. I like Osher, honestly. But... Uh, Fair enough. Lots of people still don't find it to be the best, but hey, it's been really fucking nice to get consistent content throughout the year, which is something that we didn't really get for a long time. And I'm still appreciative that we've we've gotten new stuff to play around with and check out. There's been a lot of good stuff mixed in with some of the not so good stuff, um, and and yeah, so it's been pretty good. If we did if we did get fishing, that would make it oh just perfect. It would be perfect. Um. So yeah, another thing that happened, I, I basically just looked at the SKL Timeline channel to get some of this information, honestly, because I was not going to go back through everything again. But in February, uh, we finally got the SKL logo added in-game. Let's go. That was kind of a big moment for us. Um, we had done the Extra Life fundraiser the fall before, and that had gone so well that we were able to uh, achieve an audience with the devs, with RHEL, and weasel our way into getting our logo in-game. Um, so big ups there. That was pretty fantastic to, to be able to have that very special, very special. Thank you RPG for that. Um, and yeah, that was sort of the, the end of extra life for then. We'll definitely be talking more about extra life in a little bit. Um, and then we kind of got into the spring and the spring was an interesting time for SKL. It was an eventful time for y'all who were around during that. Um, there was a whole lot of activity within SKL, a whole lot of different stuff going on. Academies. We're kind of pumping, but it was going in weird directions. Officers Academy was all over the damn place. Um, we had a whole lot of stuff going on, but there was a lot of instability as well in the outfit at that time. And it's a little too much to dive into, but some of that kind of came to a head uh, towards the end of the spring, beginning of the summer. And it ended up in just kind of a, a big old refresh of the outfit, so to speak. A lot of folks left out of SKL, went to join other outfits. Uh, a lot of folks who had been around in SKL who were staples for many years uh, decided to just kind of stop playing Planetside. They were just sort of a little bit done with the whole thing, which is totally fair. And so we lost some old people, we lost some new people, and things kind of got brought back a little bit. We kind of did a bit of a, a clean out. It was nothing too major, you know, there was no big massive drama or big split in the outfit, but it was just the kind of time where a lot of things uh, got shifted around. Um, and so the summer of 2022 was sort of the marking of a new era in SKL. Uh, we started rebuilding, we started changing some things, we started consolidating some stuff down, and we had Horace promoted to Alpha Leader, which is honestly the greatest accomplishment of my career. I, just say. <laughs> Ooh, I really nailed it with that one, didn't I, guys? I kind of I popped off there, actually. I kind of take all the credit, to be honest. Anyway, uh, Summer was a good time. We did a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we got some some great new people into the outfit. Uh, throughout this entire time, Orbital Strike news has been popping off. Um, and yeah, stuff was stuff was going and people were coming up with ideas. We were cooking up some new ideas for what we wanted to do in the end of summer and, and into autumn as well. And so we got into we got into fall and October was a fantastic month for SKL. We did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the big one being, of course, Outfit Wars. Thanks to anybody in here who did participate in our Outfit Wars teams, because y'all popped off. We reached fifth place, I think, in out of 22 outfits, which was insane. Nobody expected that. Everybody thought SKL was dead, and we didn't, and we totally went insane. Um, so, big ups there. And uh, we also started our Extra Life fundraiser, which uh has been incredibly successful because of the insane generosity of our donors once again we are blown away um going every single year we've blown past the goals that we've set 
um, even our maximum, maximum, most far reaching goals, we always just absolutely smoke them. I really can't imagine that we're going to do it again, which is weird. It seems like at this point I should have learned, no, we're not going to, we're not going to pass our goals next year on our extra life fundraiser. There's no, we should just set a really high goal because obviously we're, we, we know what we are capable of. I still don't think that's the case. I still think we're not going to get anywhere near this much next year or any other year, but I kind of always say that. So I also know that I might just be wrong. Anyway, we've gone absolutely insane this year. We've raised $7,700 so far. Thank you once again to all of our donors. Check out the Extra Life channels to see all the people who we are uh, incredibly grateful for as well. Um, we also had a nice little um, interview from, uh, I got a little interview from Mithril that got into the, the Planet Side 2 news cycle, which was kind of nice. And we were able to shout out some of those Extra Life donors there as well, uh, which, was, which was really great. Um, and yeah. So October was fantastic. Just last month, November, also majorly fantastic. Oh yeah, I love this. I love this chart. We're so far down there. And honestly, I thought this chart was mostly correct. I'm not gonna lie. I love SKL. I thought that was basically correct. Turns out, not at all. Never underestimate the power of our competitive folks. Um, anyway, last month, um, we saw some really great stuff as well. Uh, one major, major thing. That happened was the return of the Praetorian Guard, which is fantastic. The Praetorian Guard, if you all don't know, was once a part of SKL and they rejoined just in this last month and have been running twice weekly ops, one private, one public. It's been fantastic. They've been doing crazy. And they also were super helping uh, us out in the Outfit Wars as well. They're a big reason why we got so far. So um, glad to have them into SKL once again officially. And uh, we also saw a bunch of other stuff. We had really probably the most major overhaul in SKL history. We changed all the fucking ranks. We completely restructured the Discord. Um, and we also dissolved our multiple academy system, combined them all into one academy, and then separately the leadership core. Um, and that was a pretty massive uh, shift for everything as well. And a massive thank you to uh, Horace for championing that and also Kronk, I believe, who did a huge amount of the work on uh, making all that stuff happen and, and figuring out some of the, the details on how everything was going to be moving and, and grooving. So thank you to you two for, for managing to uh, successfully execute that massive project. Uh, it looks pretty great. Honestly, I like these things better. I like, I understand the StarCraft idea and it feels a little sacrilegious to not keep it because that was Sokar's sort of thing. But at the same time, you know what? The guy's been gone for a little too long, and I like Roman history a little too much, so I like it. I think it's better. Um, what to do the the Swarm Lord Abathur Ridge? Was that you? Oh, I didn't know that. Look at that. It makes sense, though. He was he he loved the fact that he had the the overmind thing. Anyway, now I'm overmind. Shut up, Dad. Uh, anyway, we um, <laughs> in this last month <laughs> was uh, was some great stuff as well. In this last couple of weeks, uh, last week we had Leadership Week, which was when the Leadership Corps once a month does our uh, big old training week, hosted a whole bunch of trainings, and uh, brought in some new Centurions as well, uh, which Horace will talk a little more about later. Um, but yeah, it was fantastic. Thank you very much. If you stopped in for one of these platoons and checked them out, hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully you learned something. You can find basically all of those trainings in the Leadership Core, in the Leadership Core guides. Uh, definitely check those out as well if you did miss them. And stay up to date on Leadership Core info and sign up to potentially join next month when we run that once again. Um, and yes, many new and fantastic leads have just showed up in this last month. Uh, thank you all for being here, and uh, for those of you who did join the Leadership Corps, you'll, you'll get, uh, get a little talking about by, by Horace in a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's kind of been the 2022 recap. I don't think I missed anything super important. Maybe somebody will bring something up that I'll have totally forgotten about. That was really, really big deal. Um, but I think that's kind of the main footnotes. Okay, Kronk, I don't know. Air Fryer was not like, was not like that big of a deal. I said Horace Promotion Games. I bragged about it. I promoted him. So I'm kind of basically, if anything that Horace does is good, it's kind of like I did it in a way, you know? Think about it. 
I did do the 12 hour stream. That's true. We had a bunch of cool extra life events, um, which were very fantastic. The Minecraft server got started up and people have been building crazy shit on there. It's kind of freaking me out. Um, and yeah, I definitely enjoyed doing the 12 hour stream, even though it was pretty exhausting. It was very fun. Thank you. If you did tune in for that as well. Um, and, and yeah, yeah, it's really good. Um, anyway, let's touch in on some other quick notes that I want to go over just before we throw it on over to Horace for some of the rest of the town hall stuff. Um, so first thing I want to touch on is command chat. So if you saw a couple of weeks ago, I put out a little announcement just talking about the fact that command chat was kind of a hot pile of steaming garbage uh, for a little while there because of a whole bunch of trolls on there and toxic people and chatter and blah, 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 blah. It wasn't great. Um, and so I basically just said, you know what? Just mute these people. Keep on doing your thing. If you need to mute command chat entirely for an alert, you, you kind of do what you got to do what you got to do, right? Um, and fortunately, as of recently, it appears that command chat's been improving. We've seen the trolls kind of dissipate, which is what happens when the trolls run out of people to troll. Right? That's just what happens. They get bored, and they go somewhere else. Hopefully, they're having a wonderful time trolling people in some other game. I don't know, Arma or something. Fun times getting hit on while trying to coordinate that. Yep, that sounds fucking awful. I am so sorry. Uh, Planet Side attracts some of the greatest and some of the worst people on the internet. It has to be said. Um, but anyway, so at the same time, uh, we saw a alternative Discord as well. I mentioned in that announcement that there was an alternative Discord that got started up by some of our fellow outfit leaders on Emerald VS. Um, and we were a little hesitant on joining it. And for a couple of different reasons, uh, we've decided that we're not going to be really participating in that, uh, especially now that Command Chat's better, but just because of some past stuff and some concerns about it. And also just because SKL's always done in-game comms. And if we can stay on in-game comms, it's just what's better overall for everybody. Um, if you do get invited to this Discord, just as a quick PSA, especially to our leaders, if you do get invited to the Discord, we're not going to ban you from the outfit. We do discourage you to join it just because it's a number of different reasons. If you want some of those reasons, you can shoot me a DM. But suffice it to say, um, we definitely prefer that you use in-game comms, especially for our new players. It keeps it accessible, it keeps it easy. Um, and also, you can't like enable ducking through Discord comms, which is like the best thing. Uh, the fact that you can reduce your in-game volume while somebody's talking is very useful. Um, but yeah, and also just in general, we want to be the change uh, that we want to see in the world. And so by being on Command Chat and by making Command Chat a respectful, you know, efficient place, we ultimately make that better uh, rather than sort of running away from it and, and condemning it to be um, toxic and underused forever. So we're going to try to set that example and, and continue to use Command Chat as well. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, Extra Life is going to continue to go on until the 30th of December. We're not 100% done. There's still 12 days left on the 30th of December. I am going to be doing the raffle for the 4,000 Daybreak Cash. Uh, still, you can still donate and you can still join on that raffle. If you donate $5 or more, you get a ticket. You donate every $20 after that, you get another ticket up to five tickets. Um, so you can potentially win 40 bucks worth of Daybreak Cash. And you can also donate to charity at the same time. And uh, yeah, we've achieved just about every single goal that we ever even conceived. Um, still, things that still are going to happen are going to be the the Deeg podcast, which we're working on organizing and getting that to happen. Um, we're also having an SKL art commission, which uh, Orby once he's I think able to uh, get all of his sort of tech issues under control, he's been dealing with some internet issues. Um, we'll handle at that point, along with the Minecraft event. Um, and if not, we can, we'll figure out ways to, to do that as well if he gets a little too busy here. Um, anyway, those things are still on the horizon, so definitely keep an eye out for all of that. And if we do somehow manage to reach $10,000 in these next two weeks, we're going to do SKL merch. It would happen. We don't expect that it'll happen. We never expect that any of this will happen, and then somehow it does. But with that one, it is a very large um, gap that we'll need to cross to get from 7,700 to 10,000. It is end, 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 end goal level. If we don't get it this year, we might just set another goal for it next year. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's just there for there to be at least some other goal to encourage donations. Uh, but no no problems if we don't end up reaching that. We have done an incredible job. And once again, a massive thank you to all of the donors. Um, all right. And then just one final thing. One final thing I want to say here is just a reminder 
uh, to send out to all of y'all, which is just to be respectful. Be respectful to each other. Be respectful to the other outfits on planet side, regardless of how other people are treating you. Always maintain a level of respect towards everybody else. Now, SKL as an outfit, we've been taking some jabs recently. Uh, if you've been in various public channels, if you've been sometimes on the Reddit or wherever, uh, you might see people making little quips, making little bat 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 uh, at SKL and. Um, I know that that has the potential to get a rise out of people, and I appreciate the people who like SKL a whole lot and are invested in this outfit and don't like to, to see that kind of stuff. And I appreciate y'all y'all feeling that way. And I mean, the fact of the matter is, some of those jabs are a little justified. I mean, we've made mistakes as an outfit in the past. We've got things to get teased about, and there's nothing wrong with a little bit of teasing. Um, and vast majority of those are people just doing a little bit of trolling, making even just a little joke. They're to be laughed at, not taken seriously, not um, you know something you should spend too much of your mental effort looking into. Um, but even with the serious ones, even when people take serious jabs at SKL and and say bad things about you or somebody else, um, you know I pr I would like for you to let me know. Uh, maybe even file a tick about it inside of our, our Discord, and we can try to deal with it. We can try to prevent those things. But at the end of the day, we can't control other people. And the best thing that you can do is just ignore them. Just don't respond. Just don't escalate it. Don't hop into yell or command chat and fire back. Um, just keep doing your thing and having fun, and don't give them what they want. Don't feed the trolls, like Siri said. Um, just keep going. That's a good lesson for SKL and Planetside. It's a good lesson for life as well. Uh, just keep on doing your thing when people are trying to get at you and do do your best. And yeah, as I said, I, and to illustrate 100%, especially if it's somebody within SKL, but just in general, file a ticket, get some screenshots, throw it in there so we can potentially deal with it and prevent these kinds of things from happening. Um, but also, please do just ignore these people. Don't give them what they want uh, and, and don't take it ever too seriously when that stuff is happening. Um, yeah, when they go low, we go high. That's going to be our policy. Um, if they, if if people will will you know shoot insults at at SKL or at yourself, just hit them with a little bit of kindness and a little chuckle, and go back to doing what you're doing. Uh, that gives you a whole lot more power and and kind of kind of lays things out a little more clearly about who's focusing on the game and who's focusing on the right things and who's maybe not doing that so much. Um, and and yeah, that's that's basically our, our our philosophy. And yeah, please do repeat that message to to everybody as well. Uh, that, that that's how we want to be dealing with things. It's always how we wanted to deal with things, and it's how we want to deal with things now. So that's just about it. That's been 2022 in SKL. Thank you everybody who's joined within this last year, who has stuck around through this last year, through the trials and tribulations that SKL has undergone. We appreciate you being here. Um, Thank you from me personally for being here. Uh, I've vastly enjoyed being a part of SKL in these last few years. And honestly, 2022 has been one of the most engaging and interesting and um, just cool years to, to be an SKL, to be a leader of SKL. So thank you for keeping my experience pretty fun. That's about it from me, Horace. Throw it on over to you. Wonderful. Well said, all points. Alrighty, my turn. I don't think I could beat Kronk or Kronk. Maybe I'd have to compete with Kronk and Castor. That would be an interesting dilemma. <laughs> All right. I should have. There we go. Beat Kronk. Is that my challenge here? All right. We actually have something really cool that we get to do before rolling on to some uh, informational stuff. Uh, and then we'll have a nice, uh, exciting announcement again at the end. So this first one, uh, y'all know the drill. This is a town hall. And at town halls, we get to do promotions. We get to do promotions, everybody. Promotions are cool. Um, as Castor said, this last month, we did a whole bunch of new ranks, a whole bunch of new roles in the outfit due to the restructure. Um, if you're interested, I will link very quickly here um, the link to our Legion Leadership channel 
we can check that out, see what all the new roles are, um, as well as everyone who actually fills in those roles. Um, but talking about promotions, we have a pretty big one this month, bigger than 50 orbital strikes going off at Nason's during prime time. That's how big it is. It's bigger than that. This is a legate promotion, uh, which if you were here around when we had our old system of ranks, it was pretty equivalent to a Cerebro promotion. Pretty, pretty darn equivalent. This legate promotion is going to Kronk VS, everybody. Definitely why I didn't mess up my words earlier, but Kronk VS is getting promoted to the rank of legate in SKL. Krunk's been everywhere and back again, basically in SKL, from leading squads platoons to helping in OSN to now running OSN to co leading the Construction Academy, helping out as a moderator, Discord architect, leadership core staff, and just doing a top notch job through it all. So, very, very, very appreciative of Kronk, um, Pingham Watts, and Kronk, would you like to get up here and say something now that you're purple? No? Dang. Yeah, say it in there. Give us something. I don't know. <laughs> wow, easy. Yep. I'm so happy. I was like this whole day, I was literally counting the minutes at some point, thinking, when is it going to be 6 p.m. so I can get Kronk promoted? Because I'm just waiting for that. I'm just waiting for that. There you go. OK. And I give everyone permission to spam ping Kronk with congratulations until tomorrow at 7 AM Eastern time. You're welcome. For all of that. All right. There you go. Yep, 7 AM, but then no further. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get a bot, no problem, from all of us. With 100 pings each. All right, that is the promotion of the night, everybody. Absolutely, Kronk, well-deserved. Um, really, really, really glad that we got to do this tonight and that you are here to receive it. All right, we got some information to go over, everybody. Uh, this is some pretty cool stuff. First off, we have academy information. We've been talking about running an academy week from last month. Um, and you're probably wondering what happened with that. Because last month we were like, oh yeah, we're going to run an academy week. You know, it's very similar to what we ran as leadership week. And I made a bit of an oopsie um, when I said that. Because when I said that, at the time, I was thinking, oh yeah, we'll have all month to plan things, and then we'll run at like the end of the month, you know, no problem. And then I realized, shoot, we're going to have to have the town hall a week earlier, aren't we? So that kind of threw a wrench into things. So that didn't happen this month, unfortunately, with everybody's busy schedules and a one, you know, one less week to work with, um, and then just everything else going on. It didn't happen, unfortunately. We tried. You can ask the staff members, you know, we got to talking, we're like, how can we make it happen? But just all in all, we figured better to have something that's nice and prepared um, and done well uh, for the next month. So that's part of what's happening with that is we want to do this for sure. Um, we're going to try and get it out for January is the nice hope there. Um, but whenever that happens. Uh, definitely keep an eye out in the Orbital Strike News Channel. Um, and that's where we'll have all the information for that when that is ready. So that to say, we wanted the Academy Week really bad. Things didn't quite pan out for that. But but I will say, for the Leadership Corps, uh, we did actually have enough people with flexible enough schedules uh, that we could put that out. Um, and so we actually had enough people for seven days worth of training. Full week, I did one, Kastar did one, Orby did a whole bunch of other ones. We had 
lots of other staff helping in and pitching in um, as well. Yeah, or we did like four trainings. Um, was pretty pretty nice. Um, and then unfortunately, his internet gave out and wasn't able to um, attend one or two of them. But that's what we're a team here for, right? This is what we're this is what we do. We support each other. We're ready. And that's what the whole team of of staff is for. Um, and we got it right. It was really really nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, exactly. And I couldn't handle Orby's awesomeness. Um, so we got that done, and we had some new leads come out from there. Which, where is? Ha! I'm looking at the wrong one. There we go. Yeah, we had Infinity Photon. We had Sarah. We had Jazz Hands and Hitter also apply to the leadership core uh, for this month during that week. Uh, and really, really nice to see them. So definitely wave hi, say hello. You'll see all of them running squads and platoons at some point, I'm sure. Um, definitely some nice skills to be had there, especially after a whole week of training, um, for sure. All right. The only other thing that I will say there is with what we learn from this month, like this month, we didn't do Academy Week. We got a whole seven days worth of trainings in for Leadership Week. We might still do that many each month, but like I said, we are trying to fit in at Academy Week to you know talk about some kind of in-game skill, like infantry or armor or something like that, um, and then also a separate week for Leadership. So we might you know condense them more to like four or five days each, depending, um, just so we can fit everything in there and not have anybody burn out at the same time. So scheduling might change a little bit, but all in all, Really, really hoping to get both of those out for January. And again, keep an eye out in Orville Strike News for that. Alrighty. I get to do one more exciting one more exciting thing tonight. How to get good at Planet Side 22, 2022 play for Counter Strike. Cool. Alright, one more exciting thing. If you've been in SKL for a while, and you've been playing Planet Side for a while, specifically, you're probably thinking armory assets are really cool. Right? Raise your hand if you like armory assets. I like armory assets. I like bastions, orbital strikes, anvils, modules. All that's really cool. Uh, OSs are especially handy when uh, someone says they don't like my burlap camo. Definitely not useful there at all. <clears throat> um, but the only way to get armory assets is through signing up for leadership, right? Wrong. Not anymore. Everyone, we have a brand new rank in game called the Optio rank. A cool Roman army type name, befitting of our Roman Legion theme, which allows members to use all types of anvils and modules in game. I definitely didn't lose any more brain cells uh, trying to figure out how we're going to fit one more rank in game, considering the game only gives us eight in total. Um, but as I said, it grants the use of anvils and modules, and is able to be picked up by anyone with the following requirements met. And that is just that you are in a scale for at least three months is the number we've got on that for now. We might tweak that a little bit. Um, and then also that you have a clean record uh, following our rules. Simple enough. That's it. Could I actually uh, now, or as soon as someone has time, Poncho, whoever's here, uh, get someone to open up that Optio rank request channel for all of our legionnaires um, for that. So like I said, whenever that channel opens up, the only requirements are three months in SKL um, with possible tweaks in the future for that. Or um, might be possible, my brain cells are failing. Um, yeah, so three months possible tweaks in, in SKL and then also just clean record following the rules. And then you get to be holding the rank of Optio and can throw down really cool anvils and modules on any bases you like. Uh, when you get that role, um, one of our legates or myself or Kaz um, will help set you up with that role. Uh, and then once we set you up with that, you'll be able to see an armory info channel that just has some basic guidelines about how we want to use our assets um, as an outfit. 
in game. Armory roll. There we go. Yeah, so there we go. One more rank towards the Roman Legion theme. Armory assets. Really, really, really cool stuff. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Yep, okay. I see there's a few people already interested. So if I will actually get to those because I need to set up a couple of things. So I will get to any request for that immediately after the town hall. Um, maybe I can actually do a few of them here in a second. Because that's basically it, everyone. From everything Cass said, everything I just covered here, that is all of our information content for SKL's December 2022 town hall. Um, and now, if anybody has any questions about anything, unless Kaz, I'm missing something, just interrupt me right now so I don't look a fool. If anybody has any questions about anything that's been said or anything at all, go for it. Feel free to type uh, question and whatever your question is, just as I've done here, but without the typo, preferably. I don't even know what that means, games. What is a toilet paper charmin? <laughs> Skirt logo. Okay, right. Cool. Uh, soon. TM. Oh, okay, good to know. Is everyone like completely good? No questions? When do we invade the EU servers? Uh, Niku is probably the best one to answer that, I would bet. I don't actually know. Can at all times. True. You can have a one person invasion and jump onto any of the European servers whenever you like. Reverse server invasions. All right, let's do a last call. Any any questions? Any questions at all? Got a share the power. All right, we pretty good here, Castor. Anything to add? I think we're good. Cool. All righty. Well, with that. I free you all to go conquer more continents, win more certs, and uh, buy more air fryers. More the merrier. There we go. Do we have an ending music bot? Do we care to have one? James, hit it. <laughs>